Hello, I'm Dr. Shui Wong. I am a general practitioner that's practicing in Melbourne, Australia. Currently, there are a limited amount of studies with coronavirus and the impact on pregnancy. A lot of the guidelines is actually derived from study from influenza, the SARS-CoV or the Middle Eastern Respiratory Tract Syndrome. So it's really, really important to keep yourself up to date and also um, check the government website to see if there's any new guidelines for pregnant women and also um, the current coronavirus pandemic. The natural physiology of pregnancy do put you at a lower immunity state. So the bottom line is to stay at home and to practice every measure to prevent yourself from getting an infection. Yes, you should still go to your antenatal visits. Um, I know it is the advice that you should stay home at all means but it is also essential to go to your antenatal visits as recommended because if there is any complications with your, um, with your health or your baby, then it's really important for us to pick it up as well. But if you go, be prepared for those consultations. For example, limit the unnecessary number of visits, limit the support people that actually goes with you. Wait in the car until you are called if you are seeing a GP for your visits and also limit the time of your visits as well to less than 15 minutes. What are the risks to my baby if I get coronavirus? There is not yet enough evidence to suggest there's an increased risk of miscarriage vertical transmission. Um, however, some babies born to women in China with symptoms of coronavirus-19 in China have been born prematurely, but the study is not really robust because we don't know at the moment the cause saved of the um, cause factor or if the doctor made the decision to born the baby early because the woman was actually unwell. If a pregnant woman gets coronavirus, right now the recommendations is actually to delay the labour unless it is medically impossible to do that. From what we know today is that the newborn babies and infants do not appear to be at an increased risk of complications from coronavirus infection compared to the elderly population. However, it does not mean that babies and infants do not get coronavirus. If you get coronavirus while breastfeeding, please do not stop feeding your baby. Currently, from what we know, is that coronavirus is not secreted by the breast milk. But you must practice enhanced precautions with general hygiene. If you're expressing your milk and you're pumping your milk, you must follow the breast pump sanitizing guidelines and also consider someone that's well and asymptomatic and at low risk of coronavirus to feed the baby by bottle. Bringing a new family into the world is an exciting time for your close ones in your family. However, the current recommendations is not to have any visitors for your newborn baby. What if I live with someone else? If you live with someone else, it's important to separate yourself, including your utensils, whiteware, your plates, um, including the personal items as well, your toothbrush, towels. If you have the facility to do so, try to separate your toilets from your flatmates or your borders. And uh, also, if you do share um, common areas with other people, um, make sure that you clean all surfaces with sanitizing agent. For example, door handles, remote controls, if you share the same computer, make sure you clean the keyboards before you use it. Now, um, if you sleep on the same bed with your partner, make sure they also take infection precaution measures before they come into contact with you. For example, once they come home from a public outing, make sure they change to clean clothes. 
um, and wash and sanitize their hands, shower the whole body and the hair for at least 30 seconds with soap before they get into your bed. Now, um, look into washing your clothes properly. Look into different sanitizing methods to make sure that they're clean. For example, if they're white, um, make sure that you clean it with uh, chlorine bleach or for colored clothes, you can use a phenol disinfectant. Can I go for a walk? It's okay to go for a walk in your own backyard or in your private outdoor area. But if you live in an apartment, it's best to avoid all common areas, which means the common library, the common gyms and pools, and to really avoid to use public toilets. Can I still eat out? It's best to avoid takeaways for now. One is to prevent, obviously, coronavirus transmission, but also to prevent um, food poisoning. It's better to cook your own food um, and also practice proper food hygiene and preparation of your food. If you must eat out, try to use drive-through and use a payment method that requires you not touching um, anything, any surfaces, and also to avoid um, going into the restaurant as well.